Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius for mid-May 2019. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at your love life for the rest of this month, okay? Hold on. Alright, Aquarius for mid-May 2019. Whoa. Aquarius for mid-May 2019. What's the energy surrounding your life? Alrighty, so the energy surrounding my Aquarius is love life. The feelings that my Aquarius partner feels for them. And my Aquarius feelings for their partner. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and unpack these cards. So right off the bat, Aquarius, um, for the rest of May 2019, when it comes to the energy surrounding your love life, I do have deception here. Um, and I'm actually going to clarify the cards because I always do. Yeah, and it's clarified by Free Yourself. So I am seeing that there is some either cheating energy going on within your relationship or um, this is like deception. Like when I when the deception card comes up, excuse me, this could mean lies. This could just mean lies or the truth not being fully indulged here. So there may be some things that you guys both want to get off your chest, but for some reason you guys aren't saying and with free yourself. Um, I feel like some of you guys, this is you feeling mentally trapped to the situation even though there is deception going on um your partner is lying to you or you're lying to your partner or both of you guys are not really just disclosing how you truly feel about the connection or what's really going on within it okay and when it comes to your person how they're feeling about you i do have pay attention to the red flags clarified by make the effort so this person may feel as if you're cheating or there's certain things that they're noticing about you that they maybe having issues with and with this they may be like i said lacking the effort like putting the effort forth for the relationship or they may be feeling as if like there's a need for you to make more of an effort to the relationship so that it can flow cohesively but um what pay attention to the red flags they're definitely feeling like there's some things going on or some things that they are noticing or they're picking up on and when it comes to your feelings for your person, I do have healing family issues clarified by playfulness. So with this, I do feel as if you guys are in a space of wanting to heal the connection, especially if you guys do have kids together um, or a child together. This may be something that's really um, keeping you from really letting go of this relationship due to the fact that you really do want to be around for the child or you do want this person to be around for the child and again you do want to heal the connection and for some of you guys you may be trying to actually like I said recapture romance by being playful with this person or there's a need for you to but we're gonna go ahead and look more in depth with this situation into a spread so we can get more of an idea of what's going on here so what's going on with my Aquarius' love life for mid-May 2019? What's the energy surrounding their love life? Aquarius for mid-May 2019. Oh. All right, Eight of Pentacles came out. For mid May 2019, in love, what's the energy? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and lay these cards out. So, your person's feelings for you, your feelings for your person, the advice for your love life for the rest of the month, the next set of actions that your person is going to take towards you for the rest of the month, the outcome of your love life for the rest of the month. And the obstacle or issue that may affect your love life. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and unpack these cards, okay guys? 
So the first card showing up here is representing your person's feelings for you. So we do have the hangman. So with this, this is them kind of putting the relationship on pause or putting the situation on pause until they get kind of a full understanding of what's really going on here. They may be in a space of still needing to see some things differently when it comes to this connection or the relationship or to get, like I said, a full understanding of what's really going on here. Clarifying the hangman, I do have the, hold on. Okay, I have the temperance and the king of pentacles that flew out. So this is them trying to be patient and also them, like I said, trying to focus more on financial things or like I said, they're trying to be patient when it comes to the stability of the relationship or what's really going on here. And I also feel as if this person, like I said, they're waiting for things to kind of, uh, be fully clear to them before they try to bring balance back to the relationship as well. And like I said, invest into it. This may be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that you're dealing with. But when it comes to your feelings for this person, I do have the three of swords. So with this, this is you guys feeling a level of hurt or betrayal or loss here. And with the three of swords, it could have been due to a third party situation. But with the hangman, it's like you guys feeling a sense of hurt and you guys also feeling like your relationship may be stagnant or your love life may be stagnant due to the fact that you may need more of an enlightenment of what's really going on here or you're kind of sitting back waiting until things really come to you as far as the time and effort and like everything you've invested into this relationship. And like I said, waiting for some sort of payback in this investment that you've already made with this person. But when it comes to the advice for you guys for the rest of the month, when it comes to love, I do have the two of pentacles clarified by the queen of swords. So when it comes to the device, the advice for the rest of the month, I really feel like it is important for you guys to make some decisions based off of, again, whether or not you want to continue to be stuck in this unstable energy within your relationship, you're really going to have to make some moves to change that. Um, I also feel like where there is juggling in the relationship that also needs to, like I said, be severed, that doesn't need to happen in the relationship anymore. Also, this is just the energy of you guys, like I said, acknowledging where there is instabilities and actually being real with yourself about them. And like I said, either dealing with the issues head on or cutting whatever is not serving you out here and just focusing on yourself and your healing process. And actually, like I said, dealing with your emotional needs. And yeah, um, what I'm seeing here for your person's next actions though towards you, I do have the devil card. And clarifying the devil card, we do have the eight of wands and the magician card. So with this, um, their next set of actions towards you, I do feel like this person's still like gonna have a negative thinking process, so that may still be an issue. Um, but I feel like for some of you guys, do be careful that this person doesn't try to bind you, like using like spiritual attachments um, or like magic or anything like that to bind you to this person. For others of you, this is like this person trying to lure you in like through sex. That may be one way as well. So definitely be aware of that. For others of you, I just feel like this person is under like negative thinking patterns or again, this person... Maybe feeling trapped to this situation in a negative sense, but I feel like this person is going to try to communicate with you and try to, like I said, manifest either communication with you again, or like I said, maybe using witchcraft to actually bring you in as well for some of you guys. Only if you know this person participates in that though, should you really be worried, okay? I'm not going to try to scare all of you guys, all right? But um, what I am seeing here for the outcome of your love life for the rest of the month, I do have the chariot card. And clarifying that, I do have the nine of pentacles. 
So when it comes to the outcome of your love life for the rest of the month, Aquarius, I do feel like you guys are going to be moving past any sort of issues that you've been stuck on for some time and having a hard time looking towards the future and being forward focused. I feel like you guys are going to be able to move on and really just focus on yourself and put yourself in a a freer energy and like I said just focusing on your sense of stability focusing on your health and just focusing on yourself overall here and for some of you guys like I said you may be possibly communicating back and forth with somebody who you have passion with but then again I just really see you guys um just taking the single approach more than anything And the last card we're going to address, this is going to represent the obstacles that are going to possibly affect your love life for the rest of the month. And we do have the Six of Wands clarified by the Empress card. So the obstacle that may actually affect your love life for the rest of the month, um, with the Six of Wands being here, it may very well just be the... The lack of success with your relationship, like as far as getting growth with possibly a Taurus, Libra, whoever, um, maybe even a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But the issue may be, like I said, either getting attention from this person or like the lack of success that may have actually um, came out of a relationship that you really did want to grow with and that you did feel emotional tied to. Um, but there may be issues, like I said, with the growth and actually, like I said, getting this person to either emotionally express to you or like I said, getting it to be successful. But this is what I'm seeing for the rest of the month. I really hope that I was able to give you guys some sort of clarity or understanding with your situation. And if you did resonate with this message, please make sure you like this video and comment below. And also subscribe if you haven't. And if you do want to book me for a personal reading, or if you do want to purchase any of my healing jewelry, or any of my abundance kits, or anything of that sort, definitely check out my site. It is www.mysticalcrystals.com. I'll leave the link below in the description box. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye aquarius okay